Today, the last of our hens raised in captivity have passed away after living a free life here with us. Many have aged and passed after living here, some for the past seven years, others were not sure how old they were when they came here. We are seeing a change occurring in the value of chickens as beloved family members and pets instead of brainless commodities. I'd like to think this is us living in a new world that's getting there, a place where all children have value and are cherished, a place where freedom is a birthright, a time when we can care for those who live so very different from us. And as we've reached this new place, we remember all who have come before and given energy to our cause. Let them not be forgotten. We are grateful. Well, it's been so long since I came here. I'm tired, think I'll leave, my dear. I'm going home once again. Leaving all the beauty behind. I should have gone to a better place this time. I learned my lesson. I hope Take me home I'll reach out I'll grab hold As I fly by Well I Spent a lifetime trying to figure out What my last life had left out I try to make a better soul For me And I I made mistakes along the way Fell in love and had a fair so it all worked out a little better Take me home, I'll reach out I'll grab hold as I fly by To a better place, that's, that's what I work for I've been thinking What I have learned during my time caring for these chickens is that they are incredibly intelligent and sensitive creatures. They hold tight-knit familial and friendly relations that they will carry through their entire lives if given the chance. Not only do they communicate with each other, but they have taught me to understand their language as well, the same way a parent teaches a child using overstated physical gestures and slow repetition. They have showed me their words for food, water, danger, fear, joy, grief, and love. I've seen the anxiety they feel when facing the daily routine of keeping their babies safe, the joy they express when they have had success with hatching after years of being caged, the grief they feel when their children, family, and friends pass so away. I'll say goodbye again. Thanks for all the good times and then I'm walking out, I'm leaving this place. It was nice while it lasted. Loved and laughed and heavy missed it. It's my time to move on to a better place. That's what I work for. I've been living the goal there. I've seen chickens express genuine concern when another creature is in pain. They will run to each other's rescue even at the risk of death. If I look past all their animal-like characteristics that make them so different from me, I can see how similar we are in our basic wants and needs, the things we all take joy in, the successes we share, and how we deal with loss. I'm not here to tell anyone what they should or should not do, but if I am saying something, it's to love and cherish each other in every moment. Allow yourself to celebrate your successes and mourn your losses. Be kind to one another and support each other. Allow yourself to see the hidden similarities you have with one another instead of the obvious differences. And fly even when everyone else believes you can't. Take me home, I'll reach out, I'll grab hold. Fly by to a better place. That's what I work for. I've been living to go to a, a better place. That's what I work for. I've been living to go.